Hi friends, Dean here with Mad Max RT. Today's going to just be a brief video, but I wanted to show what I've been working on with my Challenger. Uh, I, last video I did, I talked about doing some possible painted graphics on it, which I've been kind of in the process for almost two years now of kind of coming up with something that's kind of a measure twice, cut once, because this will be automotive paint. So it's not like wrapping where you can do it and then you don't like it, change like changing an outfit or a polo shirt. I mean, whatever, it's like having a tattoo, whatever you put on there. I mean, you're sanding the paint finish down and redoing it. So since the car was recently repainted, I thought it'd be the perfect time. Uh, you know, I had to wait for uh, 30 days. I actually waited five weeks just to make sure everything was fully cured before taking a piece of 400 grit sandpaper and sanding down the finish, which is the last thing you want to do unless you know exactly what you want to do. So. I had talked about painting the rear spoiler, uh, which is what's typically done on the SRT models. Um, in this case, uh, I thought about it and it could be considered up badging as far as, um, you know, painting the rear spoiler because the, the RTs came with a spoiler that's actually painted the color of the car. Uh, kind of a monochromatic look along with the mirrors and everything. So. Uh, even though there's nothing wrong with painting your spoiler, I don't see it really as up badging like putting an SRT badge on. Uh, that wasn't what my what my goal was. I wanted to um, <clears throat> pretty much uh, do something with the car that would make it unique. But I thought about it and I said, you know, I'm kind of a less is more. Let me just take a step at a time and I'll pretty much just do what I think the car really needs. And then later I can live with it and see if I really want to paint that rear spoiler. So. What I did decide to do was to do the RT treatment on the hood as well as the uh, stripes on the side, the RT type stripes that came on uh, the RT classics but without the actual RT emblems that are at the end of the stripe. So I thought about it very carefully. Now I have all the stuff to spray automotive paint but I did a lot of research and I found out that this SEM trim black is the closest thing to an OEM color that was actually used like on the 1970 AAR CUDA hoods that you see quite often that have that kind of a real nice flat hot rod matte look. Uh, quintessential muscle cars typically had you know flat black stripes or graphics or hoods and so that's what I use and this stuff is really good paint. It uh, has all the good cancer causing agents in it so you know it's good and uh, it worked great. I was really surprised. I didn't have to go and spend hundred dollars for a small quart of paint plus an enamel reducer and all this stuff to do it. In California they've removed the slow drying enamel reducer to where you're forced to use acetone and what happens is it flash dries way too fast and I like to have it lay it on fairly heavy and overlap keeping a nice wet edge and so it dries very, in, very kind of a uniform fashion. I can control the spray cans and make it look like it's done with a spray gun and it turned out perfect. So what I did is instead of doing the satin black, which is typically what I do with most of my cars, where this had such a dark color on it and it has a real nice high polish shine to it. Right now there's no wax on it. I've stripped all the wax off by washing it a couple times with a strong dishwashing soap which removes all the wax and grease on it prior to doing any painting. So even though it looks shiny, there's no wax on it. And once I polish this out and wax it, it'll have a really high luster. And I wanted something to contrast, not so much with the paint color itself, but with the sheen. So I thought that kind of going kind of an old school, kind of a matte black, the hot rod style, you know, matte black or trim black as this is called, would be ideal. And you know, I watched a lot of recent muscle car restoration videos, and that seems to be the hot spot. Oh, here's Oliver, my caddies, down here. Hi, bud. How you doing? He's down here hanging out. He, every time I'm out, he hears my Hemi start up. He comes out from wherever he's hiding and wants to be part of the scene. <laughs> he's a great cat. <clears throat> so anyway, because of my current limitations and situation with my back pain, I almost didn't do this. I just said, God, I hope I can do this. This may be too much for me right now. So what I did is I had my wife help me. I said, you know, I'll just eat an elephant one bite at a time. So I took one day and had her help me wash the car. We let it dry overnight, completely dry. So every single crack and seam is completely air dry. And then I took one day to lay out the 3M plastic tape. And you can see some, you know, I'll show some quick, you know, static photos here where you can see how I laid it out. I lived with it. I played with the stripes a little bit. The beauty of those, you can peel it off and redo it if you don't like it. The tape is very expensive, but man, it works great. It leaves a super crisp edge. You can sand, overlap it, and sand over it. It works great. 
and then the second day after I laid it out with the tape the next day I had my wife help me mask it on a weekend we get it all masked off and then I just sprayed it which is super easy and then she helped me after we let it sit all day then we slowly removed all the masking materials and it really came out nice so I'm going to show you the car right now this is how it came out I love the way it looks it has the original RT look but it's subtle it's very subtle and it actually hides uh, by removing you know that I don't need RT emblazoned on every single panel on the car it has what's nice about the 2014s is that they removed most of the emblems on the side fenders they removed them they only had an emblem on the grill and then the Hemi badge on either side of the hood nostrils and that's it that's what I like about the car it's really a less is more thing so let me turn my camera around here I'll show you the car this is what I ended up going with I left this rear spoiler for right now alone now I can always paint it a matte black as well which would be very easy to do but I kind of like the subtlety of this here's the stripes so typically you'd have an RT right here, big RT, and it looked kind of cartoony, it looked fine, I mean it is in keeping with the 1971 theme, but I love the subtlety of the stripes. It, in certain times of day it almost looks like a ghost stripe, it's like you can barely see it, but the contrast of the shiny metallic and clear coat with the matte really looks nice with the tinted windows, and then also on the hood, on that bulge, the RT hood, I've got the satin or I'm sorry, the, the matte black, which really came out nice. So I left like a quarter inch on the very top of the edge of the hood. You get a nice clean mass. I had it bleed off the back side of the hood, and I had it go all the way to the nose cone. So if I do wrap the front nose with a protective clear bra, it won't cover up the matte stripes, which would make them look shiny. And then I also kind of uh, bled off the stripes right into this body line here as long as, as well as the front of the hood so it has a really clean look I mean there's you can't tell this was done with spray cans at all this is excellent paint it really lends itself you know I did remove the Challenger logo on the left side of the grill but I did leave the famous RT now to me I like the RT even better than the SRT because to me this is the true heritage of the Dodge muscle cars I had in 69 RTSE Dodge Charger with a 440 Magnum and an automatic and I also had a 1970 Dodge Challenger RT with a 440 automatic so to me the RT is I get more chills from it than I do the SRT believe it or not even though the SRT has the bigger motor and some suspension mods but this does have the heavy-duty suspension I love the way these stripes came out they go nice with the rims it's just enough to give it that quintessential hot rod look but at the same time it doesn't take anything away from the clean looks of the car. In 2014 they really cleaned up they minimized the logos. They had no emblems on the back of the car they had no emblems on the side of the car just on the hood only and I like that. So everyone knows it's a Challenger I like just a simple RT on there. I think it looks nice. You could certainly put a Challenger script on the left side which would look nice but I love this I just think it looks so clean it has the blacked out blacktop edition grill surround and um, this because this has a super track pack it came with the shaker rims which they you know um, unveiled the shaker Challenger in 2014 which you could get typically it would come with a painted if the car was orange let's say the grill surround would be done in orange to match but the blacktop edition I just didn't like the blacktop edition stripes I wanted to keep it all stock but I just didn't like even though I like the matte with the red the matte black with the red pinstripe and I could even add a pinstripe to this and I thought of doing that having a thin red stripe on the top of this and on the bottom and then just have it bleed off where it meets the front nose cone and then do the same thing on the hood just have a, a red pinstripe separating the black from the, the gunmetal and it would look nice it would be a nice look but I don't think it's really needed <clears throat> uh, it's it's a clean subtle look it's just enough to, to scream muscle car but you know again I love the sublime green that would be my first choice of the bright colors the mango orange is nice you know the torrid red they have a lot of those you know b5 blue and the detonator yellow there's a lot of those kind of classic muscle car colors 
but I, it just, to me, I, I had a red SS Chevelle, and I just felt like every single eye was looking at me all the time, including the cops and the highway patrol. And in California in particular, we have a really heavy police presence here, especially in the state capitol. And so having a more stealth look is really nice. And what's nice is that people love the car. When they get up close to it, I get a lot of thumbs up. They see it. They suddenly realize what it is, and they like it. But <clears throat> it just has a clean look. I just kind of like the lesses more. I may not even do the rear spoiler. I kind of like the way it's very subtle and painted to match the car because this way it looks like a stock RT at a glance and that's what I like. I've got the wonderful remote start which you just hit this button twice and it starts right up. If I can find a button here for it, let's see where is it at. Oh here it is, I haven't done this in a while. I love the remote start, very cool. It's got a nice sound, it's very quiet on the inside because it has good insulation. But it came out nice, it took me you know, a few days to do it, I just took my time doing it. But it just, it really came out nice. It has a nice look, it sounds great going down the street. And, um, so that's my, you know, that's my paint job. I thought I'd share it with you guys. I know not everyone that watches my channel is into cars, but this is something that I, you know, I like doing my own projects in my cars and doing it myself. And it just has a really clean look to this car. I just, this is my dream car. Yeah, there's cars that are more expensive, but I actually like the RT. I prefer this over the 392. It's cheaper on insurance, cheaper on gas. Um, the motor you can do a lot more with it than a 392 and it has a traditional RT badging which to me is important because it just brings back the memories I even thought of taking the Hemi off and putting a 446 pack factory emblem on the side right here just to fuck with people because it sounds like a 440 when you when you're on it it sounds just like a big block and what's ironic is it has this identical horsepower and torque as a 440 RT Challenger but a lot more affordable and a lot more fun and reliable too, I might add. So hope you enjoyed it, guys. This is Dean from Mad Max RT. Thanks for watching and enjoy your cars. And, you know, don't be afraid to do things yourself. Paint them yourself. You can do your own graphics. There's lots of great YouTube videos that'll show you how to do it. And it really is a lot of fun. Thanks for watching, guys.